It takes practice. 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 Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Miller. Thank you, John and Ellen. Thank you, Millers. Thank you, John and Ellen. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Thank you, John and Ellen. Thank you, Millers. Thank you, John and Ellen. 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 Thank you, Millers. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Thank you, John and Ellen. Thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. Miller. Thank you, John and Ellen. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Thank you, John and Ellen. Thank you, John and Ellen. Jay, Walter, and Ellen, thank you so very much for everything. Thanks, Mimi and Papa.
I'm really looking forward to becoming a professional musician now that you're going to dedicate your retirement to teaching me how to play the oboe all over again. <laughs> I can recall sitting in the library before one of our performances as you led us in a devotion. You read the parable of the talents and spoke with us about the importance of using our God-given gifts. I'm still using those talents today as I play in a community band in Houston. Thank you for giving me a lifelong love of music. Um, during a concert one time, uh, I had sort of a, a solo piece, and I was very excited to play it, and when I got there, I squeaked really loudly. It filled up the entire gymnasium. And I just remember the look that Mr. Miller gave me at that time was first a little bit of a cringe, uh, but then a very encouraging smile, just keep on going, keep on playing. And as a group, we continue to do that, and. Um, you know, at the end, he just had a smile on his face and we all felt like we did a great job. So he was always very uplifting in that way. Being the unruly percussionist that I was during high school, I can't tell you how many times I got yelled at for not having a pencil during band practice. Well, Mr. Miller, I finally remembered. I got my pencil. After band, uh, we always liked to play basketball in the gym and Mr. Miller had uh, received in his possession a basketball, uh, we won't say how. And um, we would go and ask Mr. Miller after practice if we could play. If he was in a good mood or if we had had a good practice, he would let us take the basketball and go shoot some hoops. Well, when we didn't have a good practice or if he wasn't in a good mood, he'd tell us no. And so one of my jobs was to go and distract him so that someone uh, like Kevin or Kyle could steal the basketball. And obviously I was the one that always got in trouble for it. And Mr. Miller, when he would find out or come out of his office, you know, obviously then he would yell my name, which ended up becoming an expletive in most cases. Uh, Wallman, give me that basketball. So, uh, you know, obviously it's one one of my memories from, from band is uh, getting in trouble for playing basketball in the gym. There was some concert where Mr. Miller or another conductor was really going for it in the last few seconds of the piece and gave this final move that included a large hip swing. With that hip swing, the podium fell and Mr. Miller crashed into the clarinet section, but he kept going and we successfully finished the concert. One of our favorite stories from band was how it was always a competition among us, Stefan's kids, to see who was the favorite band student of John and Ellen's, but that competition effectively ended whenever he would tell the rest of us about his favorite student, Amy, who would sit right there and was playing flute, and any time he would bring his baton up, she would just right away have her flute up ready to play, and any time he would cut off, instantly she would put her flute down. And the rest of us were, I guess, a little more slackers in that case, so we would play a little extra or mess around, so we knew we weren't the favorites. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes, there, there's two quotes I'm going to share that he read to me, okay? Um, he said, this instrument has the ability to sing an A five lines above the staff so crisp and clear that if you're not careful, it may actually cleave your conductor's brain clean in half. The only people drawn to the instrument are already delusionally narcissistic, have serial killer tendencies, and show traits as a promising future dictator. So um, from this apparent promising future dictator, Mr. Miller, I thank you. Um, there aren't many teachers that would have a good enough relationship with me to be able to read something like that to me. And it was hilarious. And I appreciate everything you and your wife have done for Lutheran South and students all over. So thank you. All of my stories about Mr. Miller can basically be summed up like this. I would do something that was some combination of stupid, disruptive, dangerous, or illegal. And then he would call me a weenie. I was probably called a weenie hundreds of times from fifth grade through high school, and I deserved each and every one of them. Almost every day at band practice between fifth grade and senior year, there was some point in the rehearsal where I was disruptive, and Jay Walter never let me get away with it. In fact, he occasionally called me a double weenie for it. Yes, there is such a thing as a double weenie. Throughout my four years in Wind Symphony at Lutheran South, Mr. Miller, you really put up with a lot with me. Let's start with freshman year when I managed to get sun poisoning on our band tour in Orlando. Rendered myself pretty much useless. Mrs. Miller had to nurse me back to health and I had to be wheeled around in a wheelchair in the airport on the way home. 
Um, or how about when Laura Rapp and I would run the length of the multi-purpose room after every rehearsal and jump on the mats on the wall while you would stand in confused observance. The time that we decided that a rockathon was a good idea to have a lock-in and raise money by sitting in rocking chairs. Another funny story, that time that I got the best band son of the year, uh, an award only given once ever. Uh, thanks, Dad. Remember back to band tour spring 2005 when we were stranded in a blizzard on our way to Colorado? I remember it vividly. And I remember the patience that the two of you exuded being in a very stressful situation with a huge group of squirrely high school students. And I can't think of two other teachers that I would have rather been stranded with than the two of you. Um, I was a band kid myself and I played the flute and we were on band tour and we got to go to the Mall of America for our free day. Someone had this awesome idea that we should throw bouncy balls, super balls, from the top, the very top level of the Mall of America. And you know, I think there's six or seven uh, levels. It's huge. So we're throwing them. They're bouncing way up high. We think it's great. So we decide, let's go try this out on the parking garage. Go to the top level, throwing them down. Well, a couple police cars come screeching up to us and we knew we were in big trouble. So, you know, the band director being my dad, I a little bit frightened and we walk onto the bus and my head's kind of hung low and um, I just remember that my dad smiled and he sat down. So thank you dad for not embarrassing me thoroughly um, in that moment. I really appreciate it. One of my favorite memories from band is running for band president class of 2007 and Lauren Holy did a photo shoot of me and my clarinet in the courtyard at Lutheran South. I passed out flyers and I won the presidency. And then I remember the biggest duty I had was caring for Mr. Miller's suitcase on band tour. Thank you both for fostering my love and appreciation of music. I was a lazy and not very talented percussionist, but you stuck with me anyway. You yelled at me less than I deserved, but enough to get the point through, and I'm better off for it. Thank you for bringing out the best in me and countless others. Thank you, John and Ellen, so much for everything that you did for us through middle school and through high school. The time spent in band was just invaluable. Uh, it was critical to my development, not only as a musician, but also just a person in general. The work that you did is truly inspiring, and I'll never forget it. Thank you again so much, and I wish you the best of luck in retirement. Mom and Dad can't thank you enough for the childhood that you gave me the rich childhood growing up around music. Um, it instilled in me a love of music. Um, it instilled in me this passion um, for people. Um, and thank you for always showing me how to use uh, the way that God has gifted you um, to be a platform for relationships. It's been um, amazing to watch the two of you use music as your platform um, to invest in, to love, and to care for kids for over 40 years. Uh, Mr. Miller, Ms. Miller, thank you for all of your years of service. Uh, you know, obviously, I was a pain, and I appreciate you being patient with me. And, uh, you know, all four years, uh, it, it was fun, obviously, and, uh, you know, we appreciate it. Uh, I'm happy to be a part of what's going on because, obviously, you know, it, it would be awesome from your perspective to be able to look back at all those years and, you know, see what you've accomplished. So you know, very happy and appreciative for what you provided to each and every one of us. So I want to thank you for that. Thank you for creating a space where I could make some of my best friends. Mr. and Mrs. Miller, we just want to say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for putting up with us Stefan's kids for so many years. From my fifth grade year starting in 1998. To my senior year in 2017. And so many years in between. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just want to wish you both luck and happiness in your retirement and just thank you for all of your years that you gave to Lutheran South and to the students there and to just encouraging us to um to do our best and just in fostering that love of music and I just wish you both happiness in your next plans thank you Mr. Miller thank you for teaching me to take my time while learning more complicated passages in music you had said stick with it and it'll get easier and it always did. And that's a lesson that has transcended music uh, into all other areas in my life. So thank you very much for everything over the years. 
I want to thank you very much for a wonderful four years in band. I feel very fortunate to have been part of that uh, band community under your leadership, Mr. Miller. I know both of my sisters really enjoyed being in band as well with both both of you, Mr. and Mrs. Miller. Um, my sister Kristen did get to be the horse uh, Winnie in the in the sleigh ride piece one year. I know she was really excited about that. Um, so I wish you the best in retirement and God's blessings. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Miller, for teaching me and many others to be passionate about music. Thank you for being a huge part of my education and for your many years of service. Thank you for everything. Throughout my four years, you really exercised a lot of patience, but you were always so caring and always so focused on my talent. You even called my house to try to motivate me to be the best oboist I could be. You continued to come hear me play at other performances even after I graduated. Um, and you continued to check in and really show me that you still care. You're a loving teacher and I'm so thankful for all that I learned from you and all that I experienced under your tutelage. Enjoy your retirement. God's blessings. You so deserve it. Thank you. Thank you for being amazing parents, um, grandparents, and amazing role models of what it looks like to follow Jesus and to live out your vocation. Love you guys. John, I personally want to thank you for everything that you taught me while I was a beginning teacher. You gave me so many opportunities to work with the jazz and to try larger pieces like the whole suites. And I just thank you so much for everything that you taught me. I cannot be the band director that I am today without your guidance. God bless you both, and I wish you all the best in your retirement. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Miller, for instilling in me a lifetime love and appreciation for music. And in all sincerity, congratulations, Mom and Dad. You've done a fantastic job. I've seen you push through when it was hard for the sake of God and for the sake of the kids. Thank you for not letting me give up playing the flute even when I wanted to throw it across the room. And thank you for always taking us out for ice cream. I love you. I'm so glad I can be here with you. Congratulations. Thank you, John and Ellen. Thank you for being exceptional band teachers and for fostering appreciation for classical music and for helping build confidence in a bunch of awkward high school students. Thank you.